Hey YouTube, how's it going? Hope you're well. I just wanted to start doing a small selection of videos for editing stuff on the Helix Floor Unit itself, or Helix LT. And just to give you an idea how you can change some of the settings and stuff on the actual unit itself, as opposed to using Helix Edit. And this first one I'm going to show you is how to change the output settings on the unit. When I say the output settings, I mean the main XLR setting out, the XLR out, and also the jack quarter inch outputs as well. So it's dead easy. What you do, you just go to the menu tab there, just next to the save button, and you just want the global settings there. And uh, you want to go to ins and outs, which is highlighted anyway, so that's just where we need to be. And you just look in here at the line quarter inch outputs. Now, here's the settings for the quarter inch or jack outputs. At the moment, it's set to a line setting, which means it's like the powerful, strong signal out of those quarter inch outputs. The other setting you've got is instrument, which is a bit of a kinder setting. So, for example, if you go into a mixing desk, so you've got yourself a sound man or you're doing your own sounds with your mixing desk. And it's just not to have a bit of a gentler signal going out of those outputs, the quarter inch outputs. I would say have instrument. If you had the line signal uh, situation where you'd use that would be where, say you're putting the Helix into a powered cab, uh, like the FFR speakers that you've got there, or a power amp and cabinet. Then I would say you may want to use the line outputs because they give a strong signal into the, uh, the power amp section. And uh, so you've got the two of the instrument and line. Uh, next, let's move on to the mic or XLR outputs. Now, at the moment, this is like a microphone lead, so it looks like the um, male uh, section of a, an XLR lead as you look at it, as you look at the hole itself. So you've got mic and line. Now, mic here is where you're more likely to have it going into a mixing desk, I would say, using an XLR lead, using the output of the Helix. And so I would say there you may want to consider using mic. I think if you use line, in particular if you're using a sound mic, you're not doing the sound yourself, it may not too, be too happy with the very strong signal that you get from the line settings. So I would say for that to use mic. But, um, you know, like all these things, just do what works best for you personally with your settings. But, um, yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you change those two sections of outputs for the Helix Floor or the Helix LT. So I'm going to do lots more of these videos shortly, so you'll see loads more of these, how to edit stuff on the unit itself. But thank you for listening. Please hit the subscribe button. And uh, there's loads more of these videos to come for the Helix, especially in 2023. And please take the time to check out my Helix Tone Shop as well. I've got um, all kinds of Helix stuff on there, and I'll be adding more stuff in 23 as well. And uh, yeah, just check that out and see what you think. But thank you for listening. See you later. Bye.